So this particular strategy has been formulated in order to acquire a substantial cost advantage. Professor Michael Porter in the 1980s, he presented this generic strategies. The basic choices or the primary choice of companies which are there, that is very very important and significant aspect. So easily you can pass on that particular advantage benefit to the consumers to gain a large market share. Hello and a warm welcome to all dear students. I, George Olimier, Commerce Faculty, Department of Commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Dear students, today I'm going to welcome you all to the session 8 of Business Policy under Unit 1. So in the last class, I was explaining to you about the corporate strategies and various different levels of corporate strategies, right? So today we shall take up the second under that that is under the different grand of strategies we have that is corporate level then we have business level strategies and functional level so today we'll take up the second one that is the business strategy what is a business strategy strategy means i told you it may be an idea or it may be the techniques which you use in order or a decision which you make in order to see that to accomplish your goals or the objectives of the organization so the business strategy it says these are the plans and actions that every firm has to take it so the plans and the actions where the firm has to devise, that is, it has to decide, that is, to compete and in a, in a given product. So, in order to compete with the given product, how the company or the organization it is going to use it in the form of plans and actions, and as well as not only about the product but also it says the market scope. So, how it is going to gain the market, the market share, right? As well as setting the objectives and asking the questions. What is that question the company is going to ask? How we are going to compete with an industry that is another industry so if there is another industry which is having the same similar products which are manufacturing or the same nature of company or the industry then the question arises here for the company how we are going to compete with the another company of a same line that is called the business strategy how we are going to compete with the another industry so here it mainly focuses on this particular business strategy mainly focuses on improving the competition advantage the main focus of this business strategy is to see that to improve the competition position in the market right as well as in the company business units. So in order to compete with others the business strategy is a strategy where it says that it has to see that it has to come to that particular level or it has to reach that particular level where the strategies has to be formed or formulated and see that the competitive position of the company should be enough or should be more enough in order to attain the goals of the objectives and not only the business unit but also the products or the services which it is serving or it is being given that is within the specified industry that is within that industry which is giving the lot of that is the products and the services as well as the company units so in this way the business to compete with the competitors whereby they making the different kinds of business strategies and that strategies where it may be in the form of plans and actions and that should be accomplished in order to accomplish the goals and objectives of the organization and to compete with the other industry of the same line or the company of the same line now seeing the first one here it says competitive what is that competitive strategy we have competitive strategy competitive strategy is the strategy we are battling against all the competitors that means you are fighting with the competitors in order to gain advantage in order to gain advantage, you are fighting the battle with all the competitors or the what is called the rival competitors that which includes how we are going to compete with them. You are going to compete with them with low cost leadership. What is that low cost leadership? It is nothing but where you are going to see that your products cost will be less, where your selling price or the cost of the products which you are selling will make it less than your competitors products right and differentiation differentiation is where how you are going to differentiate your product with another rival product so you need to differentiate it with some unique features all that and focus strategies and how you are going to focus what are the main impo important focus on the aspect of competition so all these strategies you need to undertake under this competition strategy and a cooperative it says you are working with one another or more competitors here cooperative means you are cooperating means you are com combining with or uh, joining with or merging with another all the other competitors who are in the same line of your business so you are merging or you are working with one another or more competitors of the same line of business or same line of products right in order to gain advantage what so that the other competitors which is also known as a strategic alliance 
So this when you compare or when you combine yourself, when you cooperate with other one or more competitors and start doing your business, then that kind of strategies we call it as cooperative strategies or we call it as strategic alliance. Alliance means making alliance with each other. So here you can see the joint venture and the strategic alliance. So you are making the adventure that is the joint venture with two or three companies of the same kind with the competitors. So here the example I have given here is the wet grinder machine. So the, these companies as well as like uh, Shanta and Sombagya. So the wet grinder companies of Shanta and Sobagya, these are two different companies where they are seeking differentiation in the target market segments. So they are making combined together and making a differentiation target market segment. So in a competitive business strategy, we have or we call it as Porter's generic strategy. So this Porter's generic strategy is nothing but it is a framework. We say it is a framework or the boundary or the limitation where it constitutes a major contribution. So this Porter's generic strategies that will constitute a very major what you call the contribution of what contribution towards the development of the strategic management literature so that will help you to in order to reach or in order to develop the strategies or that is the strategic management literature so this generic strategies were first presented by whom by professor michael porter so professor michael porter he was the first person to categorize or to give present this particular generic strategies in the year 1980 in the year 1980 that is by Harvard Business School so from Harvard Business School this person professor Michael Porter in the 1980s he presented this generic strategies now this Porter suggested that what he presented what he presented about the generic strategies and he said that he suggested that some of the most basic choices some of the most important basic and primary choices that is which has been faced by the companies are essentially the scope of the markets and it says the company would serve and how the company would compete with the selected markets. So he suggested that the basic most basic choices faced by the companies are very much important. The basic choices or the primary choice of companies which are there that is very very important and significant aspect and also the scope of market is what that the company would serve and how it is would be competing with the selected markets that is what he suggested. So the competitive strategies mainly focus on ways in which a company can easily achieve more advantage in the competition market or in position that is possibly in an industry or in position in that particular industry. So under this competition strategic focus mainly on what which are the ways in which the companies can easily achieve what is that the most advantage position how it can easily reach or achieve the most important advantage position in the competitive market so that which has been possible in that particular industry or which has been possible by the industry. So the profit of the company is also very much essential. So here as you are competing you need to also see that the profit of the company is also very much essential and surely it says the difference between its revenue and cost. So how you are going to manage with the profit, how you are going to earn the profit that is through the difference between the revenues and the cost that is the revenues which comes the incomes which you get and the expenditure that the cost which incurs. So this is how you need to see that you are going to make a strategy regarding your profit of a company. So therefore it says high profitability can be achieved. So if you want more profit you can achieve more profit but how we are going to achieve it that is through achieving the lowest cost or the highest prices. Lowest cost means you are reducing your unwanted expenditures, reducing your expenditures but increasing or the highest prices facing the competition or the prices which has been facing high so that should be also be lowered. It should be brought down so that only then you can see that you can achieve the profit and you can have the competition. So Porter, this person Porter as I told you, he who is a generated, presented generic strategy, this Porter used the terms cost leadership. Cost leadership means where he said if a company wants to attain advantage over the competition then they should reduce their prices or the cost of the products which is been sold right compared to your that is your competitors so the products which you are selling those price should be less or it should be brought to the 
low price or low cost compared to the products of the competitors that is we call it as cost leadership and the differentiation that is differentiating your products the, than your competitors wherein the later that is the cost leadership is in which companies can earn the price premium so that easily they can win over the competition and get uh, good sales also and revenue also. So the main aspects of Porter's generic strategies analysis it says see according to Porter what he says there are three generic strategies of the company three generic strategies that is a company can undertake to attain competition advantage secondly cost leadership and differentiation and focus so these are the three important three generic strategies which has been analyzed by Porter so he says the company can easily undertake or attain the competition right that is competitive advantage how it can easily attain the competition advantage that is by cost leadership lowering your prices then your competitors price differentiating your products then the competitors price and focusing mainly on the product which you are going to sell in the competition market so these are the table uh, you can see here the generic strategy option it says uh, competition advantage is by lowering your cost as well as differentiation lowering your cost that is cost leadership and differentiation you can differentiate your products so this is the broad target we say and what is a narrow target focusing the competition scope that is called as the narrow strategy so low cost strategy as i told you the very first important aspects that is the ability of the company or the business unit it is the ability of the company or the business unit in order to design produce and and market a comparable products with more efficiently as well as in more effectively with the competitors that is in its than its competitors so here low cost strategy means it is an ability or the strategy which has been followed by any company where the business unit has to design in such a way that and produce a product as well as market a product and comparable product with more efficiently than its competitors so this is how we have this low cost strategy so in this low cost strategy it says the competitive strategy is totally based on the firms or the company's ability right and it says to produce or to provide the products or services at lower cost than the rivals that is what i said so in the competitive strategy totally the company is based upon the ability to provide the products to the consumers that is all the services at the lowest cost with the lowest price than of the rival competitors or the rivals so this particular strategy has been formulated in order to acquire a substantial cost advantage why this low cost we say low cost strategy has been adopted it has been adopted in order to see that to acquire the substantial cost advantage in order to increase your cost advantage over your competition or competitors so that it can be passed on to the consumers so easily you can pass on that particular advantage benefit to the consumers to gain a large market share so when you lower your price of the commodities then your competitors market or a competitor product then you can attract large number of customers or you can gain large number of market share so because of that as a result of this the company or the firm surely it says it can earn a very high or higher profit margin so when you get more market share automatically your profit margin also will be huge and that will result from selling the products at a current market prices so that will surely help you out to sell your products as per the current market price for the products that is only when you attain your your market share or get getting larger market or the customers for your product so example here you can see the whirlpool company so this is a company where it says it is very successful used in low cost leadership they adopted this strategy low cost price strategy or low cost leadership strategy so that to build a competition advantage differentiation strategy it says it is ability to provide unique and superior value to the buyers so differentiation strategy or differentiation we say it is a ability by the company that is to provide a very good unique as well as a separate something different identity as well as the superior value to the buyers in terms of what in terms of quality wise having special features and after sales service so this is how you are going to differentiate your products with your rival competition products so it is a company's ability 
to provide a very good unique and separate uh, unique means something different so a uh, unique and a superior quality or the value to the buyers that is in the form of or in the terms of product quality then having different special features in the product and also giving after sales service so this particular competitive strategy is totally based on providing so this particular different strategy here it is also a part of competitive strategy where it says you are going to provide this buyers under strategy with something special or something unique uh, nature or unique features that the firm's product or service where it can be distinguished from other products so that is why we adopt this particular strategies so here are the customers they will be very happy, they will be willing to pay more or higher price for a product which is having a very unique and superior quality products as well as you can see in terms of and also special features which is having lot of features and after sales service. So they are having a willingness to pay higher price for a product where there is a distinct in some special way, something is different. When some products are totally different and unique, automatically we as a customers will surely going to buy that particular product that is we are willing to buy and pay more prices also right because it is having superior quality also the superior value is also created by how it has been created superior value superior value is created because the product is of higher quality the product which you are selling to the customers it is having a lot of uh, good qualities lot of features and the quality is also very high and technically very much superior than your competitors product so that it will build your competitive advantage competition advantage so that you can see the customers they become more loyal to your uh, products and thereby less price sensitive is given to the firm's product or the service example you can see mercedes and bmw which have successfully pursued persuaded the differentiation strategies so these are the two companies where they manufacture the cars that is Mercedes and BMW. So they have adopted this particular strategies and they have already been successful in this differentiation strategies. Next is the focus strategy. It is also part of competition strategies where it says it is helped to design the firm's target specific niche within an industry. So this is nothing but it is a strategy of which is a part of competition strategy where it is designed. This strategy, focus strategy has been designed in such a way that to help the firm target in order to help to reach the target of the firm or a company a specific with a specific niche within the industry. So first of all you need to see that within the industry everything has to be coordinated. So there should be a focus on the reaching that particular objective or the goal. So unlike both low cost leadership and differentiation strategies these are also designed in order to target a broader industry or broader industry wide market. So this particular focus strategy is mainly aims at what specific and typical small rate. So this is about the focus strategies and this particular focus strategy should be a particular buyer group. So they are going to focus on a particular buyer group because uh, it may be a narrow segment. It is not a broader one. It is a narrow segment of a given product line where the geographical area or the regional markets, geographical or the regional area or the markets, regional markets within which they have the distinct special taste as well as preferences. So those kind of aspects only be taken into consideration under this focus strategies. So here it could be looking for a, or focusing on a particular buyer of buyer group and the main aim is to see that to give the product line some only one particular product line you are going to focus as well as you are going to focus on the geographical area location or the regional market where this particular product can be uh, sold and also within the special taste. So there may be something different taste and the different preferences of the customers. So that you are going to take into consideration on this focus strategy. So Selectron is highly specialized manufacturer. So this company Selectron is one of the most important specialized, highly specialized, uh, what you call the manufacturer of what the circuit boards. So they manufacture circuit boards and which has been used in PCs as well as that is personal computers as well as in any other electronical devices. And that is which has been adopted well-defined focus strategy. So they are going to focus only on this particular manufacturing of circuit boards 
where it can be used in PCs and other electronic devices. So, that is the main intention or focus or strategy of Selectron company. Now, coming to the combination, combination we say stuck in the middle. You are going to stuck in the middle as you are going somewhere, you are going to stuck in the middle. So, here according Porter, what he says about this combination strategy, he says the company's failure, the company's failure on part of what? Making a choice between the cost leadership and the differentiation, especially which implies that company is stuck in the middle. So, according to Porter, combination means the company is going to be a failure or the company is failure on its part because on the part of choosing which strategy to be adopted or which strategy to be taken, whether to choose the cost leadership or to choose the differentiation strategy. So, there you are going to stuck in the middle. That's what it says under this combination strategy. So, there is no competition advantage for the company. Here under this combination, there is no competition advantage or you are not going to take the competition position because that is stuck in the middle and results in offer poor financial performance. So, when you got stuck in this between this both, that is your cost leadership and difference in strategies, then automatically it says surely when you stuck in the middle, that results in what? It will result in poor financial performance. So, you will be under very poor financial performance. So, therefore, it says, however, disagreement between the scholars on these aspects and analysis. So, however, there is a lot of disagreement between various people or the authors about this particular competition strategies that is called as the combination strategy or we can call it as the stuck in the middle strategy. So, here K in 1993 and Miller 1992, they have given some examples, they have cited some examples for the successful companies such as it may be Toyota or Benetton, which are adopted one or more generic strategy. So, they have cited two different examples of successful companies as I told you the Toyota company and the Bennett company and these two are the companies which are very much successful in adopting one or more kind of generic strategies, right. It may be the focus strategy or it may be the what do you call the low cost strategies, right or it may be the differentiation strategies all this. But both of these companies used this generic strategies of differentiation. So, here both this, both of these companies Toyota and Benetton, they have used this particular strategy that is the differentiation strategy and low cost simultaneously together, together they have um, utilized or together they have used this particular strategies, differentiation strategies and low cost strategies and which led to success of the companies. So, taking this both simultaneously using this both strategies, they have been successful in their companies. The B1 that is cooperative business strategy or we call strategic alliance. So, cooperative business strategy is also called as the strategic alliance. It means what is the role of the strategic alliance? This role of this particular strategic alliance is giving a shape that is giving a shape that is shaping the corporate giving a shape for what? For a corporate and business strategy which is significantly grown over a past number of years. That is it is almost in every industry if you see alliance are becoming more and more common. So, any industry nowadays if you take because because of lot of competition edge there is lot of competition many companies are not able to face the competition thereby lot of industries what they do they alliance with other companies. So, it is becoming a more common as companies they realize that alone cannot do everything. So, they can no longer afford the cost of developing the new products or entering the new markets on their own. So, entering into new markets or entering or producing a new products. So, that is not possible only by one company. So, in that sense, they are going for this alliance called as strategic alliance or the cooperative business strategies where they can mingle with other industry or companies in order to take the advantage of this particular strategies. So, alliances are specially what it is there always in the companies or industries. It may be in the form of technologies or in the form of industries where they combine together. So, that there is a rapid change and they are also you can see as semiconductors, airlines, automobile, pharmaceuticals, technology uh, that is telecommunication, then market electronics, financial services, all these sectors, there you can find the alliances. So, most of this particular industries or the companies, they are having the alliances with other companies. So, in the see if you global level at international level, you can see 
many that is USA and Japanese firms that is in the automobile industries they have joined together and in electronic industries they have teamed up to develop new technologies. So this is how the alliance has been formed with various companies and thereby it says to compete fiercely and sell their products or the existing products to enter into each other's market. So they can easily enter into each other's market through the alliance of this. So at a global level you can see Japanese firms and US firms in the automobile field right as well as in the electronic industries in electronic fields you can see they have teamed up with the new technologies coming with out new technologies and they are competing fiercely with one another to sell their existing products that is uh, to enter into others market. So a strategic alliance it is a cooperative agreement so it is a cooperative that is cooperation between both the companies of the industries so it is an agreement between both companies it is a cooperative agreement between companies who are competitors from different companies so these are the competitors from different companies so they are coming together combined together cooperating together and make an agreement in order to pierce the competition and see that they enter into the others market so this strategic alliance of what they are linkages they are like a chain link or the linkage between whom between the companies which are designed to achieve an objective so these are strategic alliance they are like a linkages to the companies which is wanting to enter into the markets or you want to penetrate into the market and reach the target or the goal so this is designed in order to achieve the objectives of the companies faster and more efficiently than if either firms attempt to do so on their own so this particular strategy is very very important strategic alliances is very important because they act as a linkage between the companies which has been designed to achieve the objectives of the company with more faster as well as more efficiently and thereby it says it is wanting to attempt them on their own it is attempted to do so on their own so this particular strategic alliance it serves a vital role it is a very important it acts important or vital role in extending the and renewing the firm so it acts as a very important role in extending as well as in renewing the firm's sources of the competitive advantage why because they allow companies to certain limit kinds of risk entering into a new territory so example you can see here the beverage industries that is nestle's they work with coca cola to gain access to other distribution channels so this company beverage industries they work with whom with nestle and nestle works with coca cola in order to gain access or to enter into the other distribution channels likewise if you see computer hardware industries that is toshiba as well as samsung they also formed a strategy called the alliance strategy where for manufacturing advanced memory chips so this is how the strategic alliance is been taken into consideration of formed so dear students so these are the various important topics which are covered to you today under this particular unit and the session so hoping that you understood the topics i'll see you in the next class until then take care have a nice day thank you